Hey guys, Carl here. Today I'm going to be doing a test on a Vero 3. And how it works is I've got a clean PC. It's on a virtual machine. It's Windows XP, Service Pack 2, and it's straight off the CD. I'm going to go through the installation real quick. Part 1 will be installation and features, and part 2 will be where I'm testing 10 malicious URLs. Okay. It's a pretty quick install. Okay, we don't need to read the readme. Uh, the configuration wizard, this is Avira's heuristics, and we're going to turn it up on the highest level. But when we do, we may encounter some false positives. But since we're doing testing, we want the highest detection rate possible. We're going to select all the categories and secure start. We don't need to scan because it's a clean system at the moment. Okay, now it's going to update. I'm going to pause the video and I'll get back. Okay, back. Now it's finished updating. We'll go have a look at some of the features. Um, in administration, you got the scheduler. And a good tip I found is you insert a new job. This is for the free version. You can go to update one or whatever. And since the free version only allows you to update once a day, can be a bit sneaky in adding your own updates and so here it is oh whoops I didn't set the hours for it next here we go and so set this one for say 4 a.m. and then say the next one you go update 2 and so this one you go 8 a.m. and you just keep going that basically all the way through so then you get four hour updates instead of just the one that they offer you. Um, quarantine, you can view what's been quarantined, you can also add your own file. Um, Lock protection, the guard is the real time scanner and it shows you what's been scanned. Uh, scanner is the on demand scanner or your scheduled scanner. Overview shows you what's turned on, what's not, the update, the signature files. Um, it gives you the option to upgrade. Events shows you what's happened. Same with reports. Um, then you go up to configuration in the expert mode. And scanner, here's your on demand scanner. Um, you're going to turn everything up. If you're doing something, normally I set the scanner priority to low because that means that everything else takes higher priority than it and that will cause you usually less lag. Um, it's frozen for a sec. Here we go. Scan archives. An exclusion list if you want to. And here's a heuristics we did earlier during the setup. Uh, and here's guard. This is your real time protection. Everything's all turned up. And this is just a few a few miscellaneous items you can turn up in the update options. Blah blah blah. Okay. Well, that basically goes through the features and installation of Vera Free. 
I'm going to be making my next part now, and that's going to be testing against 10 malicious URLs. See ya.